Hi, and welcome to the very first Crochet Today video podcast. I'm Brett Barra, editor of Crochet Today. You can tune into this podcast once a month to get all kinds of fantastic behind the scenes information about the making of Crochet Today. We're going to show you where we get our ideas, how we put the magazine together. We'll bring you step by steps on how to make projects from the magazine, as well as tips and hints and crochet news and everything you could ask for. Today, I'm here in our New York offices, and I'm going to give you a peek at how we come up with all of the designs you see in our pages. Our design process happens every day. All the editors on staff here are constantly finding ideas everywhere they look. When we're out shopping or reading magazines, we see things that catch our eye that eventually lead to crochet designs that you see in the magazine. Every time we find something we like, we pin it up on our inspiration board here, so we're constantly surrounded by our ideas. And eventually, we translate them into crochet designs. We match up the design concepts with the appropriate yarn. We find that just the right designer to interpret the idea. We also get a lot of inspiration from our fantastic designers. Designers are constantly sending us submissions for projects that they're interested in making. So when we sit down to plan an issue, we gather up all of our ideas that we've collected, we gather up all of our submissions, we sort through them, and we think about what will come together in a package that will work for the season of the issue that's about to come out. We match up all of our ideas with yarns, we match them up with designers who can do a great job of interpreting the concept, and it all starts to come together. All right, so here we are in our yarn closet, a whole room full of tons of yarn. It's kind of a crocheter's dream back here. I'm here with our assistant editor, Sarah Graham. Hi, everyone. We are here amongst all of these great materials. We have worsted weight yarn, we have threads, we have novelty yarns, and Brett and I come back here to feel what the yarns feel like and look at the color choices that we have so that we can best create the finished project um, based on what our resources are. So. Yeah, and the type of yarn that we choose has a major effect on the overall appearance of the project. You know, we may have a design concept, but imagine the difference between stitching it in a thread or in a worsted weight yarn, you get a totally different effect. So we do a lot of swatching, sampling, playing around to come up with the very best yarn to get the look that we're going for. That's right, and so that you can come up with the best project you can have. Once we've selected our yarn, we're ready for the final phase, which is having the garment made. We take our sketch, which describes our concept, and the yarn, and we send it off to one of our fabulous designers. Our designers live all around the world. They work from home. They stitch up our garments, and they send back the finished item, like this beautiful dress. So there you have it. From sketch to yarn selection to the final layout, that's how our design process works. Thanks for stopping by our office and meeting our staff. I hope you enjoyed learning all about our design process. Look forward to seeing you again on the next Crochet Today podcast.